So, you know, urology uh, has a lot to do with cancer. Prostate cancer is very common. Unhappily, bladder cancer is fairly common among smokers. We're getting close to finding the, the molecular signature of, of a killer cancer that does need aggressive treatment versus the ones that don't. Well, when they say you have the big C, cancer, that kind of frightens most men and women, women, of course, too. Widenstein University urology program has always been in the top 10 in the country in terms of its ranking, especially the various cancer areas, prostate, bladder, kidney. I specialize in kidney and prostate cancer. And uh, I chose urology because we do a lot of high technology surgeries. We're able to use medical devices which, which basically behave like robots under our control to go inside the body, take out cancers, bring them out through these little tiny incisions and get patients out of the hospital the next day. There have been a number of studies that have shown that if you can leave the person with part of that kidney, uh, they do better in the long run. So the, the move has been uh, to continue to, to be less invasive uh, and to do uh, procedures where we can spare that kidney and do it through uh, several small incisions rather than one large incision. Uh, the patient's recovery obviously is much faster. It was less invasive and I was out of the hospital one day and uh, I'm just fine. I'm on my way to Ireland next week. So with the uh, bulge of the baby boomers who are just now entering their uh, mid to late 50s, early 60s, that's when urological conditions become very common, not just in the prostate and among men, but also among women. We have a world-recognized program uh, for uh, female urology and urinary incontinence. When patients come to Barnes for these surgeries, they're coming for a cure, they're coming for options, they're coming for compassion. We're able to do all of those things, but interestingly, we're able to offer things that most places can't offer. And those things that we can offer are truly astounding. Some of the things that I offer that are not commonly offered at other places, for instance, would be a removal of a bladder. Instead of bringing the urine to the skin, to a stoma, to reconstruct a new bladder using a segment of small bowel, a large bowel, so that they still urinate uh, normally. If they were in a men's room at a, at, a, at a ballpark, no one would know that they don't have a real bladder. I think it's really a center of excellence. Uh, all of the people that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis really strive to do their best for the patients. It is all seamless here, and delivering patient care, doing cutting-edge medical research, working with the best technology, it all is sort of all in a day's work here at Barnes, and that's something that people find surprising. But when they come here, they know it, and they see it. You don't want to go to the guy down the street. You want to go with somebody with experience. And Seidman has the experience. And also, you got a teaching university behind him, which is one branch, and you got Barnes Jewish Hospital, which is the other branch, and they, they coexist with each other. So you've, you've got the pull of the educational units and the, and the hospital. It's a, it's a dynamite situation. And uh, I highly recommend them.